to shade a system of inequalities works the same way as shading single inequalities. You just put more than one inequality on the same graph. In this system, I have x plus y is less than 4 as my first equation, and y less than or equal to 1.5 as my second. I've made these table of values for both, and I'm going to put the lines on the graph now. I have 0, 4, 4, 0, and 2, 2. 0, 4, 4, 0, 2, 2. I have to draw a line through these. I check my symbol, and I realize it has to be a dotted line. There is no extra or equal to line underneath the symbol. Now it's time to shade. I'm going to shade this side of the line or that side of the line. To find out which, I do a test point. I'm allowed to use 0, 0 as my test point. So I plug 0, 0 into this equation and I get 0 plus 0 less than 4. It simplifies to 0 less than 4, which is true. True means towards. So I shade from my line towards my test point. This was the test point. So shading from my line towards this test point means I'm shading down and to the left this time. I choose a direction for my shading, and I shade from the line to the edge of the graph all the way through the coordinate plane. This is what it looks like. But now, I have to graph my second inequality. I have to finish my table of values. y is equal to 1.5, so the y side of the table is 1.5 all the way down. For the x side, I pick any numbers I want. I'm going to choose 0, 2, and negative 3. Graphing these points, I have 0, 1.5, which is right here, 2, 1.5, which is right here, and negative 3, 1.5, which is right here. I have to draw a line through these points. I do see the little or equal to line underneath my symbol, so it means it is a solid line. I draw this solid line all the way through the graph through those points. It's time to do my test point. Again, I'm allowed to use 0, 0 as the test point because the line does not go through 0, 0. So I plug 0, 0 into this equation and I get 0 less than or equal to 1.5. Again, this is true. So I shade from my line towards my test point. In this case, that means down. Choosing a direction for my shading that is different from the direction I chose for the first inequality, I draw shading all the way down from my line to the edge of the graph all the way across. What I have done when I've done this system of two inequalities is I have divided my graph into four regions. One of the regions is up here. It's not shaded at all. It's not part of the answer. Another region is here. It's shaded, but only by one of the lines. It's also not part of the answer for the system. Here's another bit of shading, which is shaded by the other line. It's also not part of the answer for the system. The answer is the double shaded region, which takes on this checkerboard pattern when you choose your shading direction carefully. The checkerboard area is the answer for this system of inequalities. 